Senate reconvenes for a critical vote on the contentious revenue formula. Tonight, our political affairs reporter Morimi Mwangi looks at options available for Kenyatta and Odinga and explains what political stakes await the two leaders as the Senate convenes for the vote. For a pair of bitter antagonists whose votes accounted for 99% of all the presidential ballots cast in the chaotic 2017 polls, jointly rallying their political troops behind them, whatever the cause, should ideally be the simplest thing to do. But the political tectonic plates appear to be viciously pulling away from the two bitter force and allies. If the rebellion witnessed against them at the Senate is anything to go by. But just what is at stake for the two leaders in the acrimonious Senate vote? With the combined majority force of both elected senators and governors, Kenyatta and Odinga would ideally, through their jubilee and ODM parties respectively, control the revenue allocation and devolution debate both of which prominently feature among the nine-point agenda that crystallized their 2018 ceasefire deal. <laughs> Yet with all hopefuls to the Kenyatta 2022 succession race reluctant to support the formula, including Deputy President William Ruto and former Odinga allies Kalonzo Musioka of Waipa and ANC's Musali Mudevadi, Kenyatta and Odinga are seemingly an isolated pair. As most legislators and county political strategists, prioritize economic assurance of their regions. Okay, order members. Analysts argue losing the Senate vote would raise serious queries on the Kenyatta Odinga mobilization powers over their troops. A rebellion that could easily cascade down to the grassroots through rebel leaders from the aggrieved regions, particularly on the emotive equity and resource sharing debate. Widely blamed for the cycle of bitterly divisive and at times chaotic polls, which Kenyatta and Odinga ironically vowed to eliminate through the BBI process. There are some of us uh, who are living with this political cloud of BBI. Therefore, there is no, there is no doubt that the politics of BBI is, has, is playing some influence over this matter. But besides that, I must say that this matter is very personal to every senator. Yet arguably on the tightest spot is President Kenyatta, whose Mount Kenya backyard partly supports the contentious formula for its resonance with the region's rallying call for one man, one vote, one shilling, a slogan tied to internal pressure to cushion the region financially, taking cognizance of its huge population, ahead of uncertainties of the Kenyatta 2022 succession roadmap. Karibu Baba! Ironically, save for Dinga's coastal support base, that is bound to lose 5.1 billion alongside the arid but politically decisive northern Kenya on the verge of losing 8.4 billion shillings. His Nyanza and western backyards are among the gaining counties. A delicate affair that has seen Odinga's top critic, Deputy President William Ruto, cunningly play lukewarm on the contentious revenue formula without a clear guideline to his troops in the Senate on how to vote. It is incumbent upon President Uru Kenyatta and his, de and his uh, uh, partner in the handshake, uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, to quickly ask their leaders in Parliament to join hands with us who have decided to side with Kenya, with a one united Kenya. A party position that has been communicated publicly by your party leader. Therefore, it will be upon uh, the party leaders to say whether they, they will uh, treat it as something that has passed or they are going now to take some remedial disciplinary measures. That will leave it to the leaders of the party. And as the deadlock persists, Kenyatta and Odinga yet again have to play a critical role as the backroom mediation continues. Murumi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi. Now, still on the political front, since the 2018 March political handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga, there have 